Hi, I'm Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. We're looking at the trailer for the amazing character study called Clute. I think a lot of Alan Pakula's movies are actually character studies, and the plot is secondary. So let's take a look. I actually haven't seen this movie since I was a kid at the drive-in. And my memory is that my parents were watching the movie and they thought that me and my brothers were asleep in the back seat. We watched like The Sound of Music first or something like that and then Clue came on and they checked to see if we're sleeping and they thought we were all sleeping. But I, of course, was faking and had one eye open and was just completely mesmerized from the very first scene. Maybe it was Jane Fonda's haircut. I don't know, it was the shag, possibly. I used to give all my friends shags when I was in high school, which was a little later. I think she set the trend. But I gave my friends these horrible haircuts and left mine long. Anyway, I love Jane Fonda in this movie. She has so much power and confidence. She's totally in control in this characterization, which was written by Andy Lewis and Dave Lewis. Jane Fonda's Brie Daniels was unlike any prostitute I had ever seen in a movie or on TV. Okay, maybe I was a kid and I hadn't seen that many hooker portrayals, but it was still incredible. There's a shot in the movie, the very famous shot, where she's having sex with some client and she looks at her watch and you just know that she's totally in control of her business. She's the girl in Jeopardy in this movie, but you never get the feeling that she's vulnerable, and I love that. It seems like in movies in general, vulnerability in women is such a prized thing. And she wasn't that at all. And she's running away from this male stalker killer. And the audience is really frightened of this guy. And she's supposed to be frightened too. But you never get the feeling that she's a you know, vulnerable woman in jeopardy. It's also really interesting, I think, that Donald Sutherland was this private investigator. You know, he's the masculine presence who was going to save her. And he was the emotionally vulnerable one. He was kind of a provincial guy. He came to New York City to investigate. She's the jaded city girl. He's tender. She's hard. They have a romance, and it's really powerful. The details, I think, of this movie made it very powerful. Sutherland buys a piece of fruit and he's gently feeling this apricot and it's a big moment. Roy Scheider's silent acknowledgement that he's being used. And I think what these comments add up to is that Pakula really managed to feel his way into these actors' performances and he helped them to become transparent. Perhaps that's why the movie's so indelible, even though the plot seems so secondary, to the character study that that movie really is. One man is missing, two girls lie dead, and somebody is on the other end of the phone.